ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I love women's boxing. Yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. I love women's boxing. Okay. There is no women's boxing. <laughs> Two skilled athletes entering the ring, putting their lives and their reputation on the line, gender regardless. And the minute that the promoters, the public, and the press can really get a hold of that, we can really move forward. Yeah. Yeah. It means a lot to me because I've been covering women's boxing for 21 years, and I kept seeing that women were not being put in Hall of Fames or anything like that. And so I developed the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame so that we could recognize the, the, all the work they've done in the ring and give it some, you know, give them something special that they were not getting in the sport. It's, it's great to be here, to be at the uh, International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame induction and, and to be getting a, a Lifetime Achievement Award because the company that I'm keeping is Don Jose Suleiman. And Suleiman, um, you know, many people will remember his, him from being the president of the WBC forever, but he also was very supportive of women's boxing. So without him, my career really wouldn't have been able to take off like it did. But no matter how many doors they, they knocked down for me, it was my parents that told me I could be anything I wanted to be. I'm not sure they thought I would be a professional boxer. <laughs> they told me I could be anything and do anything I wanted to. Yeah, my, my wife is here somewhere and she's actually Lisa Hawaiian. She's getting inducted into this class for the, uh, for the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame. So it's double special, you know, the, to get the Lifetime Achievement Award is, is awesome for me. But uh, I'm so excited and proud of her to, to get inducted and be part of this uh, Women's International Boxing Hall of Fame. I, uh, I gave an interview early in my pro career and they asked me why I was boxing and I said uh, that I've been an athlete my whole life and all I was seeking was the respect of my peers and so tonight is sort of the culmination of that it's, it's clear and convincing that I have the respect of my peers so I feel fairly fully honored uh, tonight to be standing uh, in here along with uh, people who have, have done very well for themselves in this world. It means a lot because I've been inducted. Well, no. Actually, the thing that's really important about it, taking all the jokes aside, is that it really gives women a chance that women fighters, especially all these pioneers. I mean, some of the up-and-coming ones that are, you know, getting signed by promoters and everything right now, they won't know this crew that's here, you know. These are the guys that led the way. It's just super important for them to be um, uh, recognized and honored for all their achievements. Plus, you know, women fighters as a whole never really get the kind of, you know, the, the kind of attention or kind of respect, I hate to use that word, that they should as fighters. So this really puts us in a place where we can, you know, get with each other and, and, and praise each other for our accomplishments and then really, you know, show the level of achievement that they've, that they've gained, which has made the path for all the other fighters. But also, you know, it's, it's given all the other women fighters, but also it, it gives us a chance to, you know, look to, look to the future on what we hope to become, you know, where, where we, we hope that we can continue this uh, international Women's Boxing Hall of Fame service so that we can keep recognizing the best fighters out there, you know, the ones that really mean a lot and change boxing. And, you know, I'm just, I, I'm on a star search right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna find all the stars. I think it's really great because in general, um, I don't think the women get their due in boxing. And so I'm really glad that there's an event like this where they really can recognize women that have uh, put a lot of their life into boxing. What is it? Oh my God, it's just incredible being able to come here uh, to the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, it's just, an, I'm amazed, I'm surprised, and uh, it's incredible uh, to be here with all these other fighters that have been in the game longer than me. Um, it's just an amazing feeling um, that I can't explain. It's just, you know, I was inducted in the Hall of Fame in the West Coast Hall of Fame in, uh, in uh, I believe it was last year 
And so now to be here in the International Women's Hall of Fame uh, is just incredible. Well, this is the sixth um, International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame event. Or actually, it, it's the sixth year of the um, International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame, although it's the third time that we're actually able to meet. And I think the importance of it is really, first of all, to recognize and celebrate the history of the sport and of the women who have contested in the sport and of those who have supported the sport over the years. In particular, we're honoring women who fought as early as 1949 and women who quit boxing in 2016. So that's quite a breadth of experience and something that we are able to really share with, not only with each other, but with the general public to uh, increase their awareness and understanding of what women's boxing is all about and the fact that it is con has been and continues to be contested at such a high level. I think it's wonderful. They took a long time coming, but I'm very happy. You have me very humble. Very, very happy. Very happy. I said because they came out with a glass ceiling. I said we were before that, and I said we had a heavy wooden door. And I'm so proud of all the women in the whole United States for the power that they've got. Um, it, it's great to see like all the you know the old school fighters and everything and how. It, how it all turned out and I'm, I'm blessed to be here and uh, to witness all of this. This is an incredible event, you know, Sue Fox did it again. Uh, she's the number one advocate for women's boxing, you know, she's uh, she's had her website up and running for so long and put her own money and time into making it um, special, you know, and this is just a great weekend where we can all get together and it means a lot to me. Sorry. <laughs> um, all the hard work that I have put in. Um, after I had retired, I thought, you know, nobody's gonna remember me. So it's very nice um, to be here, mm -hmm. to have this recognition, and to have been part of the. Well, you know, it's quite, it's quite an honor, you know, to be, to be inducted um, to the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame. I never thought I would be, get, be getting inducted, and uh, when I found out I was I was going to be inducted, I was in shock. It's, it's quite an honor you know, to be inducted with uh, all these uh, ladies in this event. This is a great honor. This is like something that you work for your whole career to be known in the world, the Hall of Fame. It feels great to be among all the great. I mean, we have all these world champions in here, and it feels great to be among them and be one of them. Um, but, well, it's very true. It's, you know, they, they work just as hard in the ring, they train just as hard as the men, and there's just so many things they're not getting opportunities. And so, having this is a plus that there may not be a money value to it, but it makes them feel like they've some, achieved something in the sport, that they're being recognized. Well, it, it was long overdue to have a Women's Hall of Fame. Uh, they are often overlooked. Um, if you ask uh, most of the boxing media, I'd say 90% don't know anything about female boxing. Um, they're very, uh, uh, they, they just have no clue. And so it was important for those that do know that they have a Hall of Fame because uh, they put their uh, blood, sweat, and tears for many, many years. Many have come and gone, uh, created their own legends, and uh, it was um, about time that somebody recognized them. I didn't prepare a speech tonight, but I'm very honored to be here tonight. And I just want to congratulate all the inductees tonight, and we all been through this on the same road, we fought hard, we trained in the gym for years, and I think women's boxing should deserve a little more respect than it really gets, but I'm just glad to be here, and thank you. Yeah. I'm really happy because I wanted to be inducted in Sue Fox's um, International Women's Bo Boxing Hall of Fame. It just means that all my hard work paid off, and sometimes there's people like me in boxing that aren't really the fighters, but we do a lot for the fighters, so to get recognition is, is an honor. I'm really honored. But there was one girl that caught my eye that made the difference for everybody here, and her name is Lupe Gutierrez. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to a new level. We, we were out fighting everybody we could, best against the best, we were only amateurs, but I'll tell you this, when she went to Taipei in China, when they mentioned at that world tournament that she has a beautiful brawler's title, it was one of the most proudest moments of my life. We have Heaven Garcia, who's a beautiful brawler, world champion. We have amateurs that really are gonna be the top of female boxing. But all of them know that people like Corinna Moreno, Martha Salazar, Melissa McMurrow, who's played a huge part in Bay Area boxing, and I'm telling you, she, she's made a huge, huge mark on the sport here. Those are the people, and even Corinna fights some of the people, as far as some of the people in the gym. If we all stick together, we're stronger. I, I think there is something unique about female boxing. They just have this sort of uh, fire, uh, desire, uh, whatever. whatever. It's just a fountain in men's uh, professional prize fighting. And the, the, the men, the women, they don't get paid as much. They don't. They usually have to have another job. Uh, the men don't don't have to go through those kind of hardships, but yet the women still persist. They still fight, and regardless of having two, three jobs to endure, they still do. Twenty-five years later, not top rank, not El Heyman, not main events, not Golden Boy promotions, which I was fortunate enough to ask about my company. We started Golden Boy promotions. No one has put more women's bouts on their shows in 25 years than my company and I am extremely proud of that. A week ago we had a, a women's fight. To all of you women who are still fighting that have retired from me, thank you. Thank you so much for your skill. Thank you so much for your passion and thank you so much for your heart. Without that, I am not standing here tonight. Without that, I don't have a business. God bless women's boxing and God bless all of you here tonight. Thank you.